Okay. All right. Who got me? Who got me? Which one of you motherfuckers? All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So we're doing a little side-by-side -side comparison today. We got the GH5S with the 10 to 25 mil f1.7 zoom. Boom. Both in autofocus here. Then we got the Panasonic S1H with the 24 to 105 zoom. We're at f4 because that's as low as it goes, so I matched it with a measly f2.2 on this side. That's pathetic. I didn't even know they could stop down that low. It's absolute bullshit. Mm. So I tried to set the frame up the same, but it's so hard because they are kind of far apart with the flippy screen getting, you can't get too close with that flippy screen. That's, that's a detrimental. We have white balanced with our friend, the gray card, who apparently can only be used for exposure, but I white balance with it. It works. It works. Couldn't you theoretically white balance with anything that is anywhere from white to black? Like it's all the same. There's no color in white or black or gray. It's all the same. Don't quote me on that, but it works. I'm really happy with this. Links are down below. So from my vantage point, it just, that screen on that S1H is so much better. It just is. I can tell that it's following me. This one, I'm like, I'm not sure. I think it has me. But when I'm back here, I can't fully tell. I don't know. Whereas that one's like, yeah, yeah. And that has a, a red border on the screen knowing that I'm recording and a telly light. This one just has number countdowns. What am I, a math lunatic? But is there any real difference here? I am at ISO 800 over here and 400 over here. But with these particular lenses, with this slow ass zoom, is there much of a difference? Cause we got a fast, I could, dare I dream right now. Freaking, oh, that's the wrong, oh God. We're going, we're going for it. Oh, we got an ISO down. ISO down. Now we're at 1.7 on the GH5S. Are we fantastic? Wow. Is the background slightly blurrier? It matters. It matters. Should we do a Tony Northrup dance? Who did it? Who? Oh, I didn't even cover up my face. Oh, this is going bad. This is going really bad. Neither of them did it. Channel your inner Tony. We can do this. Get something. The audience must see it. The audience has to know the details. Oh God, which one's gonna... <laughs> God damn it. Okay, let's try one at a time. We have the new Panasonic 50 millimeter F1.4. It weighs... 91 kittens worth. That's fine. Now can you do that? The new Panasonic lens now weighs less than 165 kittens and each of them was not vaccinated. That's actually, we're not going there today. Now the real test of a camera is to see whether or not it can handle the raccoon demon LUT. Can it handle the LUT? Who handles it better? That's the real question here. I haven't slept in a thousand years, and I do drink kangaroo blood from occasion on occasion. Thanksgiving mostly. That's what we really want to know. And if I were to do that, which 10-bit file would handle it better? That's what we really need to know here. And if I did autofocus in this beauty LUT that we have, which one makes me more beautiful? Okay. I'm not sure if in a parallel universe, the Panasonic GH5S in human form had a boardroom meeting with the Panasonic S1H in demon form. 
But if they did have that meeting, I, I wouldn't mind listening in on it. So, you're the new kid. It's supposed to make me obsolete. Fancy full-frame sensor. You, you betrayed us here at the cult of Micro Four Thirds land. Why'd you do it? Well, we all got to grow up eventually. You're tiny. I'm a man now. I can do things that others can do. I can play with my friends. You're just sitting at home, helping mom bake her cookies. You're useless. I got 10-bit, man. I was the first to do it. 4K60. You're just copying what I do. Sure, you got a bigger sensor. No one cares. No one cares about this. Some people, maybe. Minor. Minority. Like 80% of people care. Who cares? It's the dynamic range that you lack. You see, I, I can push my shadows and retrieve the highlights like a golden retriever would a fetching tool. You know, you play tennis with yourself. I play it with the world. I'm smaller and more convenient to carry. People are going to take me over you. They're going to leave your heavy ass at home, you Jenny Craig bitch. You got no Ibis. Like, who's going to bring you on the road? You have to bring a gimbal, like a Feutech AK-4500, hopefully. It's a good one, apparently. They're generous, and they send it to people to review. They send it to the right people that know what they're doing. Like you. Or me. Who? I shoot 240 frames per second slow-mo. Do you do that? Do you do where where in your menu system is that setting? Because I was looking earlier, I couldn't find it. Can you? No, I can't do that. But what I can do is 120 frames per second with audio and autofocus. Can you do that? I, I was looking in your little menu system that you try to pass off as a menu system. Mine's a lot beefier, a lot more options for people who deserve it. Couldn't see that option. Just, you like silent films? Is that what you do in slow-mo? It's a low blow. I would never have done that to you. I didn't mention your lackluster lens lineup. Frickin' like a glass. $90,000 each lens. Not even good. They're heavy. Junk cars. I'd throw them in a junkyard and hope someone destroys it. I got lots of lenses. Light ones. Fast. Frickin' Frick. My 50mm 1.4 crushes anything you could even dream about on your stupid little measly widget widget box camera of fr frickin' freaks. I'm lighter, cheaper, faster, hungrier. Would you like to come with me to get a salad? I eat beef deep fried in a mosquito layer of cheese. Go fuck yourself. That was an interesting meeting they had together, so. Yeah, what's the better camera? What would I choose right now just knowing what we have going on here? It's a tough choice, honestly. It's all about the lenses. When I put my 12mm 1.4 on, I like it. I like that there's more in the background. I like that a lot. When you go in on the tightness, it's more flattering to the face. Now Goofball over there is just a nerd by himself. Look at him. I have some class. Sure, I'm not in the shot. It's a little tight. Every acne pore opened. That's fine. That's fine. You wish you could do that. You wish you could zoom, you little bitch. Oh god, look at that. Oh shit. Okay. Oh god damn you. You can do it. I believe in you. See this is the, this is what you want. I should have brought my mic with me. I probably should have just adjusted the tripod. Since it's so easy, the KNF concept tripod is just a little switch and it's so easy. Full review coming. Thank you for sending it to me. Yeah, this is a little awkward. You can see my plate over on the GH5S. But this is good. This is good content. I don't even have to ask. So which camera's better? Which do you prefer? So now we're at the widest this goes to 10 mil, which is an 18 equivalent, and this is 24. What a geek. Look at all that stuff. I like the wide. This might be too wide. I can dig it. I can dig it. But if I had access to the Sigma 20 mil f1.4 on this, 
I do find the autofocus is so much better. I can't believe people are complaining about it. We'll have to see what happens in this video, but from what I could test, it stays there, it locks onto you, and it doesn't guess, it doesn't pulse, it does none of that. The only way it tripped up, if it, I'm doing goofy shit, like coming in out of the frame and like doing all this or hiding behind something, it's like sometimes it gets a little hesitant and I haven't even played with the settings at all. I have no idea, like it's slow. It's not as good as Canon dual pixel autofocus or Sony, but it's like there, it's like, it's maybe Nikon Fuji level. It's like right there. So we're decent. We'll end it here on the S1H. I'm gonna go do a vlog test soon with the G85 and this lens and this one as well. So we'll see if it's too heavy to vlog with. We shall find out, my friend. So let me know what you want to see. I'm just posting a bunch of videos about the, trying to think of comparisons and shit. So we're done. <laughs> Thank you so much for buying a camera conspiracy shirt and a Canon Cripple Hammer shirt. And maybe an out of focus Panasonic Pony of Hope if I can revive him. We'll see. So subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one.